We want to get right to Hurricane Michael taking aim at the Gulf Coast. Take a live look at the satellite. Florida is already feeling the effects. The outer bands are hitting Key West. People are racing to escape Panama City, where the hurricane is expected to make landfall. Traffic has been building up since Monday, ahead of today's Monday, ahead of this morning's mandatory evacuation. Here is what we know right now: states of emergency have been declared in Florida and Alabama. At least 120,000 people have been ordered to evacuate. The storm expected to make landfall as a major Category Three hurricane. Of course, Ginger is tracking it all. She starts us off. Good morning, Ginger. Good morning, George. This beast is entering prime conditions for intensification. So as we see it, just about 400 miles south of Panama City, it is headed north right into the panhandle. Timing-wise, it is tomorrow, so you have to be done with all of your preps today. You have to be out today. It's the end. And anywhere from Charleston to Tampa to Biloxi, you have to be on alert because well beyond the cone, the impacts will be felt. But the main impacts, the winds of up to 120 miles per hour tomorrow afternoon, come on. So Apalachicola, St. Teresa, St. Mark's, Tallahassee, all on high alert for that storm surge and the winds that'll take off even roofs at this point. The surge from Indian Pass to Cedar Key could reach 8 to 12 feet, 6 to 9 feet right there in Panama City Beach where Rob Marciano is. You know, I'm headed down with you, Rob, but people are headed out of that beach right now. Hey, you're right about that, Ginger. They are on the clock. And as you know, with these October storms, they can often fire up quickly, often close to shore. So there's not a whole lot of time to prep for what is at this point likely to be a category three storm tomorrow afternoon. It's already a category two storm. They had tropical storm Alberto earlier in the hurricane season that came in with a whimper, thankfully, but they know that Michael is an entirely different animal and they are getting out. This morning, Hurricane Michael taking aim at the U.S. Gulf Coast. The quickly developing storm already lashing the coasts of Mexico and Cuba with whipping winds and drenching rain. NOAA hurricane hunters have been flying right through the heart of the storm, taking vital measurements to help predict what Hurricane Michael will do next. And they're saying the worst is yet to come. We're getting winds close to uh, 100 miles per hour. Unfortunately, all the indications are that it's going to continue to strengthen a lot overnight and throughout the day tomorrow. Now the storm is in the Gulf, heading towards the U.S. Michael's outer bands already reaching Key West and Alabama. President Trump warning residents to be aware and listen up. We are working with state and local officials in Florida to take all necessary precautions. These cars leaving Panama City Beach stuck in bumper to bumper traffic for miles, getting a head start on what is now a mandatory evacuation. And then there are these residents in Tallahassee and a line of cars around the block at gas stations waiting hours for fuel while other Florida residents are prepping sandbags to protect their property and stocking up at grocery stores for what is sure to be a damaging storm. 